Hallelujah, hallelujah. I welcome you all to this um, segment of our daily devotional Rapture Day of Reality Review. Thank you so much for being there, for watching the videos and uh, giving your reviews on the platform. The title of our today's episode is Growing by the Word. Our Bible chapter is taken from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 2, and it says, As newborn babies desire the sincere milk of the Word, that ye may grow thereby. Hallelujah. And the first paragraph says, In Christ, we already have everything. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says, According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertinent unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to the glory and virtue. Hallelujah. It says, His divine power has given us everything we, regret, we require for life and godliness but you can only enjoy them through your knowledge of him hallelujah the bible says you can only enjoy them through the knowledge of him who are we talking about through the knowledge of the most high god you can only enjoy this benefit through you having the knowledge and understanding of who christ really is hallelujah second paragraph said as we grow in the lord and become more aware of his kingdom which we are a part of it we learn to apply more of all that is granted unto us it's very much like raising kids though they are here of whatever their parents own they can't enjoy some of those things until they attain certain age of level or level of maturity hallelujah that's the way it is in the gospel the bible says in galatians chapter 4 verse 1 now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differing nothing from a servant, though he is Lord of all. A heir is someone who is legally entitled to an inheritance, rank, or title. He may be an heir to a throne or an heir to some wealth. But as long as that heir is still a child, he is not different from a servant. Why this is important? Hallelujah. The word child is translated from the Greek word nephews and is referred to one whose child mentally and still unable to communicate or talk intelligently. Those a Christian who still a child nephews, though all the blessings and wealth in Christ belong to him, he can't enjoy them because he's unable to talk right. Hallelujah. All the blessings and benefits belong to the child, but he can't say it. He can't enjoy the blessings because he's still a child. Hallelujah. He said, The blessings are activated by your words, your confession, which must be based on God's word and not on sensory perceptions. But the nephews talk according to his senses from his word and can tell his not strength. One can tell his not strength. What? That's why the Bible says, He is placed under tutors and governors. To be trained until he grows to maturity that is Galatians chapter 4 verse 2 hallelujah it's one of the reason why every is one of the reason every one of us must grow by the word and one of the ways to ensure that is your active membership in your local church where the word of God is taught and you are trained with the word to help you grow and talk right hallelujah hallelujah you know one of the things is for you to have access to grow in this world and become an inheritance of your father's property to become an inheritance of all these things you need to be taught in the church of god in the community of god you need to be taught so you'll be able to grow and have that knowledge of understanding how if the inheritance is being granted unto you how you can be able to handle them hallelujah hallelujah that is what these chapters and this verse and this episode really mean in summary so now we are going to take our prayer, but before the prayers, we have some Bible references which I'm going to read for you briefly and affirmation as well. So hallelujah. Now we have in Galatians, in Galatians chapter 4, verse 1 to 2, it says, Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, different nothing from his servant, though he be Lord of all, too, but as his under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the Father. We have 2 Peter chapter 3 verse 18. It says, 
but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To Him be glory both now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. We have Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12 to 14. He says, For when the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have needs that one teach you, again which be the first principle of the oracles of God, and has become such as need of milk, and not a strong meat. 13. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness. For he is a babe. 14. But strong need belong to them that are of full age. Even those who by reason of use their senses exercise of descent both good and evil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we are going to say the prayer. And you raise your, you put your hand on your shirt or you lift it up to heaven as you declare, as you say the prayer with me. Hallelujah. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for all you've made available for me in Christ and for giving me your word to live by. As I use myself to the true knowledge of your word, more grace is released to me and I experience supernatural progress. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. You're going to take this affirmation with me as you say. I am enjoying life every day in divine health and prosperity. Nothing is missing or lacking in me. I belong to God and I only express His virtues because I have been perfected for His glory. The glory that I see when I look onto the mirror, the world is who I am. I am not governed by luck or chance, rather I walk in path of victory, promotion, strength, health and excellence as I navigate my way through life with God's word to the praise and glory of his name. My heart is flooded with light and my life filled with brilliance and beauty. Hallelujah. I do not fear. I do not fret over the hardship, inflation and evil into this world. For they are not set against me. I have ascended above the economics of this world. I am in my place of inheritance in Christ Jesus where I prosper continually. My faith is alive and working ever ready to receive. Hallelujah. And always expecting good outcome. I walk into divine favor. Hallelujah. I walk into divine favor and opportunities today. And today, I'm conscious that God's love to always prosper me, delight in doing good things for me. I exercise authority over my body and I am healthy and sound from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And no sickness, disease or infirmity can develop here. No, no disease, no sickness, no infirmity can develop in this body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me and, I'm, and in me, causing life, causing life to spring forth from within me. Everywhere I go, bubbles with life and joy because I am the God's carrying vessel. Hallelujah. I am mightily blessed for the Lord. I for the Lord. I am mightily blessed for the Lord. I am a blessing from God. I am a carrier and distributor of his blessing and grace to my world. Through me, God shone forth his manifold wisdom and demonstrates his excellent greatness. My family, workplace, neighborhood, city, and nation are all blessed for my sake. Hallelujah. I am full of the Holy Ghost, strength with might in my inner man. I am a man of strength of the world, eh? and the world has preeminence in my life. Hallelujah. Daily God's word produced in me what it talks about. In every area of my life, I experience reality of the world as I meditate on the on and live in the world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, dear Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Father. Oh, thank you so much for participating in today's episode of our daily professional review. And I believe this has so much blessed your life. You have been so blessed by this world and being inspired. Believe me, keep watching, keep participating, keep connecting. Your testimony is sure. Your testimony is forever sure. Keep connecting, participating. Watch the video, like and place your comment, your review, your any your observation. Please, they are always available as I say to attend to you. 
you don't mind to share, like, subscribe to the channel. For more updates, will be dropped on the channel for you to keep meditating, watching, studying the world over there. Your life will never remain the same. Thank you so much for connecting. I really love you. God bless and keep you. Bye.